In this experiment, we're going to study what happens to two identical cylinders rotating completely submerged in water. Here we have two identical cylinders completely submerged in water and connected by two flexible horses to two identical electric motors. The electric motors will be driven by a common 12 volts car battery. In one case, the motors will rotate in opposite directions, therefore the cylinders will rotate in opposite directions in water. In another case, the motors will rotate in the same directions. Therefore, the cylinders will rotate in the same directions in water. In this experiment, we're going to start the motors, which are going to rotate the cylinders in opposite directions. Let's see what happens. We start the motors now. We see that the cylinders attract each other and now are sticking to each other. Let's try to separate them. Oh, we see them attracting each other again and sticking to each other. Let's stop the motors. We observe that the cylinders are coming back to their original positions. And then now let's start the motors again. We observe that they attract each other again and stick to each other now. Let's stop the motors now and conclude that Cylinders rotating in opposite directions, submerged in water, attract each other. In this experiment, we're going to rotate the cylinders in the same direction and see what happens. Let's start the motors now. Observe that the cylinders repel each other, their relative distance is increasing. Let's try to push them against each other and see if we can reduce the distance. And what happens if we reduce the distance? Well, it's quite difficult to make them approach each other. We see that there is a force which is acting so that they repel each other. This force is obviously due to the water which is set in a motion of rotation. Let's stop the motors now and observe how the cylinders are coming back to their original positions. Let's start the motors again. We observe clearly that the cylinders are repelling each other. Of course, this force of repulsion is mediated by the water, which is set in a motion of rotation by the rotating cylinders. You don't need to actually hit the cylinders against each other for them to repel. It is a clearly an action at a distance, as we usually call it, but only in this case, it is mediated by the fluid water. Let's stop the motors now. Let's see how the cylinders are coming back to their original position. So, we conclude from this experiment that cylinders rotating in water in the same direction repair each other. 